Get off my property. Get out of here or I will chase you with a hammer. Excuse my language. Ha, finally. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I finally triggered Rieger's event. I'm thinking you can't trigger more than one flower event in a day. I think you can trigger multiple regular events. I'm not 100% sure, but we finally, finally <laughs> triggered Rieger's White Heart event. So I had to immediately start recording for you guys so that you didn't miss this. Ah, Kita, you dropped by at the perfect time. Did I? I just baked a cake from a new recipe. Would you care to give it a taste? Oh, I'll give it a taste. You know what I'm saying? Here, dig in. Nom, 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 nom. I actually really don't like cake in real life. It's a texture thing. I like ice cream cake, but I don't like regular cake. Okay, so you would think that you should say it's really yummy, but... What you're supposed to say is needs lemon, and I am cheating. I don't care. <laughs> so, that's what you need to say. And then he gets happy. Mmm, lemon. Oh, I can't believe it. I forgot to add the lemon glaze. I'm so sorry. I'll go get it right now. Hang on just a second. Because if you get it wrong, they drop points. It's not like you stay the same. You actually lose a bunch of points with them. So, it's really annoying. But anyway. It's good. That's fantastic. I'm really glad to hear it. I think it's pretty good without the glaze, but the tang of the lemon truly does help bring out its rich flavor. You've got a good sense of taste if you caught on to that, Kita. Maybe you've got a budding chef in you just waiting to come out. Talking to someone with a finer understanding of taste is truly invigorating. Thank you so much. You got it, babe. Once I finally add this to my menu, I hope you'll come by and try it again. I'll be looking forward to it. You know it. You know it, boo. Okay. So I actually do have to go in there again. <laughs> because... Uh, I need something for stamina. What do I want? A cream puff. We'll do the stew. Um, off camera, I sold a bunch of my uh, gold cloth. So I got a bunch of money. So I bought several recipes and a couple patterns, which is like stuff that you can use in the sewing studio. So just wanted to let you know I did that. I didn't really buy anything else, but when I was at the mine, I got another piece of gold so I can make the golden clippers. So I'm actually gonna go back and buy the blueprint for that. So my horse disappeared. Damn horse. I wonder if I could trigger his purple flower event. Probably not. I don't know. Um, okay. No, not Sakura Country. No, go away. Go away, sir. I will have none of your shenanigans. I also bought a bunch of treats for my animals, so that's where a good bit of my money went. But as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, or I guess it's the bottom right-hand corner for you guys, I still have 75k, which is pretty good. I mean, I'm gonna lose a lot of it after buying this, but... Oh, I forgot I did this. Yes, I have the... I bought the television. I don't have enough iron or glittering shit really i thought i had enough hmm interesting must have used the iron for something else then oh i thought i was gonna be able to um to do that but i guess not oh well we will do the golden clippers cool not super exciting, but but kind of exciting. Definitely help out in the long run. Mm, the sheep festival is on the 19th, so I should give my sheep treats. Which one are you? Which one has the most hearts? Probably Nimbus, but... 
Let's see. Oh, Willow does, actually. Alright, Willow, you're over here. So... Oh. Yeah, I didn't- I didn't put all these treats in the thing. Okay. Come here, Willow. Good. Good sheep. I will push you out of the way with my f pitchfork. Okay, just because I want to see... I'm gonna go back and check and see if Rieger's second, um, his Purple Heart event will trigger. I'm not sure if it will, but we'll just, uh... We'll just go check. Okay, it did not. So I'm wondering if you just can't do two in the same day. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. <sighs> I was trying to give you a flower. Guys, check it out! A new merchant arrives! Good morning, Kita. Yo! Who are you, son? Oh, good morning. We've got some really great news for you. Thanks to the tireless effort you and the other farmers have put in, we have another country interested in trading with us. <gasps> Who is it? Is it Australia? I really hope it's Australia. Right, the merchant practically insisted on coming to meet you, so we brought them along. Mr. Kenneth, if you would come forward, please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tarnation! <laughs> Howdy! My name's Kenneth from Wheat Country. I've been hearing all sorts of rumors about this town, so I reckon it'd be a good idea for Wheat Country to trade here, too. It's a right pleasure to make your acquaintance. Oh, one thing, Kita. <laughs> he actually said thing. There's still a bunch of countries that don't come here to trade, but if you were to ship a whole lot of beautiful things, that'd make this town look like a mighty fine town to do business in, you hear? That's just a little piece of advice from me. Here's to your future success. You can check your calendar to see which days Mr. Kenneth will be in town. <laughs> and then the prospectors came. <laughs> well then, if you'd please excuse us. Uh, m bye. <laughs> Another country here to trade. I wonder what kind of things they brought. I can hardly wait to find out. Schwing! Me either, bro. Even though that was my own inner monologue. Interesting how that works. Alright, so the next festival we have is the Livestock Expo. So we need to... Wheat Country, are you shitting me? Are you not coming until Sunday? Well, that's ass. Anyway. So, we need to get Willow ready for the Sheep Festival. Kind of important. And it's snowing again, although it doesn't matter because I can't trigger Re Rieger's events on Wednesday. Blah blah blah. So, exciting! I always love it when a new country comes to trade. Makes me feel like I'm doing my job, you know what I'm saying? Hello, cow. Horse. I want to do that, boss. Blah blah blah. Have some food. Oh yeah, here's some of the recipes I bought, by the way. <laughs> Should not tell you guys. Um, I got radish salad, milk salad, pudding. Ooh, somebody wanted that. Um, that was a shipping request, so I'm gonna make that. Cool. My first recipe. Oh, I did not. Ooh, amateur chef. Look at me go. Rieger would be so impressed. Um, I forgot to milk the cows. Uh, duh. I need your milk. 
Oh, if I had a nickel. Okay, we're gonna make milk salad. Milk and sweet potato, I guess. I think Rieger likes this, actually. Um, actually, I'm not sure about that. This actually might just be something to sell. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, da -da -da -da. Gotta water this crap. Okay, guys, I'm gonna buy another bunny for my coop. And I am going to name him. I'm going to name him Bamboo and kind of stick with like a tree plant kind of theme since my other bunny is named Bonsai. So, going to do that. Okay, so we have something to build today that I think you guys are going to be quite excited about. And that is the pet house. So, I definitely have enough stuff to buy this or to build this thing. So, we're going to build it. Oh, this guy. Oh, Gunther. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, we, we have done this before. So, go ahead. Okay, bye. Thanks for nothing. Okay. <laughs> So we are going to uh, find a spot for this thing. Luckily, I already cleared out some trees. Uh, does this not work? Are you shitting me? Why? Why can I not put it here? I can put it here. Obscured by this stupid tree that I need to get rid of. Oh, jeez. I wish I could put it, like, next to the barn, but I don't think that there's enough room. Let's see. Yeah, there's not. Um. Can I move this fence over a little bit? No. No, because you have to have all this ridiculous room for that. For the house. Hmm. Well, it's just going to go over here for now. Then, if you're going to be like that. Whatever. Be that way. But we made it. I don't have any pets to put in it yet, but the fact still remains that I made it. And here it is. Little cute house for the pets that I don't have, but will someday. Hey, what? What are you doing? Get off my property. Get out of here or I will chase you with a hammer. What is he doing? Freak, get out of here. I don't like you. Not a fan at all. I'm going to bed so that you have to leave. <gasps> da, 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 da. Good morning, Kira. It's Veronica. Who else would it be? I'm sorry to disturb you early in the morning. However, I come bearing good news. Mr. Jonas will fill you in on the details. Then why are you here? Well, you see, we did an inventory of the shop stalls we used for trading, and to our surprise, we found we have an extra stall. 
After discussing it with Miss Veronica, we decided we'd like you to use it. So how about it? Would you like to run your own shop? Consider it our thanks for helping make our town such an attractive trading stop. Your thanks? You just gave me more work. How is- how is that a thank you? Oh good, there's a lot to explain, so would you mind coming to the trade depot? Well then. Kita, this will be your shop. Okay. Can I just, like, go there whenever I want? Alright, you don't need to walk around and inspect it. Come on now. I'm glad you like it. Okay, let me show you how to use your new shop. To open your shop, first stand in front of the signboard and press the A button. This will bring open a menu with the following. Open shop, stock items, remove items, empty register. If you're opening your shop for the first time, you should choose stock items. You can choose items to stock from places like your bag or storage, then choose how many you want to stock. Oh, oh crap, I should have read that. With your items stocked, you'll return to the first menu, and then hit open. You can choose what kind of shop it'll be, like a farmer shop or interior designs. If the type of shop matches what you have stocked, you'll you may sell more items. Once you've opened your shop, you don't need to stay and watch it. Customers will still come by and purchase your items. And that's how to open a shop. Okay. When you want to close your shop, look at the sideboard just like you did when you opened the shop, then click close shop. Oh right, let's not forget about collecting the profits for what you sold. Profit from your sales is stored at the shop. When you want to collect that money, choose empty register from the menu. The money will automatically be added to your wallet. Because I totally trust my shop just sitting there. You can choose empty register without having to close your shop, so there's no harm in stopping by often to check it. Okay. And that's about it. I've set a book order to your house. And, uh, fun. Opening my shop was added to my bookshelf. Well, then we should be getting back to work. We hope this helps bring even greater prosperity to your farm. Okay. Hmm. Will I sell more? Like, will it be more money if it's from my shop? I, I don't know. When is my chicken going to hatch? I think that, like, I keep waiting for it to happen. And it doesn't happen. Why is that? Anyway, um, I think that's going to be all for this episode. It's gotten quite long. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.